And finally, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but this is, um, it's just so complex. And no sooner as I've stopped talking um, in one video, then I've got another one spring to mind. What I want to say then ultimately is that I don't think it's possible to have this forgiveness to the extent that Jesus would have us believe or New Ages would have us believe forgive wholeheartedly it isn't possible how's it possible when we've had all of our years up to the present point where we haven't ever done that we've always judged we've always want recompense that's the way we've been taught that's what seems to be natural to us somebody kicks you in the playground you kick the bastards back here see how it feels you see oh i'm sorry i forgive you that didn't work and so what i'm saying then ultimately is that the people that tell you that they've either got this agenda whereby they want to strip you of all your balls and all your humanistic facets just to create automata out of you or they're speaking to you from a vantage point which doesn't pertain to this world now i can speak from this vantage point because i've been there from time to time and i am at a certain point on this world whereby i'm detached from it because i don't have any relationships with anybody meaningful at all in my everyday life or around where i am and i just walk around in a dream just observing not being involved in it not caring about any of it it doesn't mean anything to me you know whether that building's there one minute gone the next or none of it, it i just I'm, I'm just a fly on the wall I'm just impartial to it. I've detached myself from it because I don't want any emotional involvement in it. My emotional involvement comes from the sun and comes from the natural world. That's where my emotional involvement comes from. It doesn't come from the matrixial world. And so I don't live within it, you see, other than when I go to the shop and I buy some foods because I have to partake in the matrix just a little bit. And so this forgiveness then, this, the perspective where I consider that it, it, it is only a reality is where you are walking in this world, but you're not of this world. And this is something that Jesus says somewhere in, in the, the New Testament. Be of this world, but not in the world. Or be in the world, but not of the world. Basically, either way you look at it, it's kind of saying you, you, you are here, you are seemingly like you're here, but don't be here, here. Know that you are a pure awareness that is just experiencing this thing through the body. And so when you are of the world, you're engaging with the world, but you're not in the world, or vice versa, you are observing this thing called the world via this thing called the human being. But ultimately you know you're not it. And if ultimately you know you're not it, then you won't take any of it seriously. That's the only time you can forgive, in my estimation. That's the only time you can look around this world and not be emotionally attached to it. About the way the politicians want to, to herd us, manipulators and governors and suppressors and uh, imprisoners and keep us fear-based and all this sort of thing. If you know that you're not really of this world, then that's when you detach yourself from it. That's a difficult thing to do, people, because you need to acquire a lot of experience and a, a good deal of, of wisdom and knowledge to know about the distinctions, to, to, to experience the distinctions when people say things like that. Reflect, have I ever experienced what they're saying? There was a few times, yes. 
Oh no, I need more experience. I can only intellectualize it. Of this world, but not in the world. What are you on about? This is the world. I'm here. Or, well, I had a near death, death experience. I've had um, other experiences which have been somewhere else. I've seen somewhere else. I felt like I was something more. That's when you start to get a handle on it. And that's when you start to go, oh, okay, yeah, I get it, I get it. And so people then, you can walk around this world and you can have nothing to do with it emotionally. Then you are in the world, but you're not of the world. You see? And that is the way some people want to play it. That's the way in which the gurus play it. But I don't know whether that's the best way. It detaches you from pain for the better part when you think about it just as an illusion. Oh, it's an illusion, it's an illusion, it's an illusion. Ow! It's an illusion, it's an illusion, it's an illusion, it's an illusion, illusion. There's many things that you can enjoy about this world and it's about the mindset that you apply to it. Take of it what you want and leave of it what you don't. And don't be brought down by the, the bondage of the things that you don't want because the, there's mental bondage. You can be out the way of the vicinity of war and, and terror and all these things, but the, the, the permeation through the consciousness of those thoughts can put your mind in bondage. And you may as well be there because you've not managed to control this. So you have to detach yourself from it. Detach yourself from all the things that you don't find pleasing and conducive to your life. So, hopefully that is this particular subject wrapped up.